welcome, welcome, welcome everyone back to an amazing episode of that good old Mr. Madison Plays. Today's episode for the... What? Okay. Uh, for the Nintendo Day, because Minecraft is on Nintendo, so that's what I'm going with. Yeah. Well, what we're going to be playing is RL Craft. I've been wanting to play RL Craft for a little bit, but I give up. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Pan is over here making fun of me because I use my hands. My hands look weird. My hand, Like a swamp thing. Look, look, look at my hands. Look at my hands. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Something's going wrong with my uh, my uh, contrast with the uh, the whole chrome key stuff. So my hair's green and everything's green. I don't I don't know why. But um, basically, uh, I've been wanting to play Aerocraft, but uh, because every single year that I have played Mr. Madison plays or been on Mr. Madison plays, I have done a Minecraft version of the game. I think the first year I played alone. Second year I played um, um, with uh, Dire Wolf. Um, I didn't do it this year, but it's at the end of the year, so I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and get into it, and it's going to be throughout the whole summer, um, as well, to whenever I feel like being done playing it, of course. So, um, with that being said, RL Craft, what is RL Craft? Uh, um, I believe that the RL stands for Real Life, and of course Craft. Uh, everything about this game is realistic. Um, going up to a tree and punching it is no longer an option. I actually have to do things. As you can see on the screen right now, we have this weird creature. Uh, there's dragons. There's new creatures. I can ride things. You got this spider-looking thing over here. It's creepy. It's ominous. Uh, there's a leveling system. There's an RPG system with it. Uh, there is... If you get too hot, if you get too cold system, there's a a, a, um, a yearly system. So you're going to see winter, you're going to see you're going to see summer, you're going to see fall, you're going to see spring. You're going to see all those things uh, like the winter time. I can't just go out and plant stuff and hope that I'm going to survive during the winter because only certain crops grow at certain times. So there's a lot. See, there's there's the dragon. You're going to see dragons. One of the things um, about this uh, this uh, mod for Minecraft is that if I die, I don't just start back up at spawn. Like when you start up a new game, uh, a new world in Minecraft you start at the spawn and if you die you go back to the spawn or like you have a bed so so we already know that when you sleep out of bed that's your safe point and in normal minecraft uh, minecrafts as well if you take up your bed and you don't place it down again and have that as your spawn point you get sent back to the um to the spawn point on where it was and you had to find your place all over again and stuff like that this game when you die you don't you don't have a set spawn point your spawn point there's out of this whole big map this whole big map this time not oh, okay still hold on whole big map there we go i i I'm in, I'm in a small square as you guys can see where my square comes up and comes down so um this whole big map there's multiple spawn points and I have to just be able to survive. Is there a chance that I will spawn back in an old spawn point? No. There, 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 there is a chance. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There is a chance. But the chances of actually getting it is slim to slim to slim to none. Like, it's, it's bad. So I have to be able to uh, do certain things to be able to make me survive. So... Let's go ahead and get right into it. It's about four minutes into this video so far. So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to spoil so many things um, that goes into this. So let's go ahead and just do that. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So let's go ahead and um, Mr. Madison's world. That's not how you spell world. Close enough though. World. Okay, let's go back capitalize things because I don't ever want to capitalize apparently so I have modes I can choose I can choose creative not really my cup of tea survival um, search for resources craft gain levels health and hunger or there's hardcore is the same as survival but locks at hardest difficulty and I only have one life I am NOT doing that that is a no for me we are trying to have fun 
doing this. Um, so let's go ahead and create this world. Let's go ahead and get it up and loading. Uh, here in a second, you're going to see a um, something pop up showing what the world looks like as it's generating. And I hope you understand a little bit more on what I meant by the world. Okay, hold on. Building terrain. Show, show me the map. Like uh, most games that most people who you know played Minecraft and stuff like that knows that like the box and it starts filling in the box and stuff like that. So right, right now everything's building. It's a big massive game. So one like I said that there's new mo mobs and stuff like that. So you're not going to see your skeletons all the time. You're not going to see your zombies all the time. Will you see skeletons and zombies? Yes. Will you see sheep and wolves? Yes. But you're seeing a whole lot more. There's a whole lot of new things that are in this game. Um or in this mod. Uh, I can fly in this mod. I can get different types of things. This is one of those things where I just randomly get put into a world. And when I when I die and pass away. Why is it all 3D-ish? Why is it all 3D-ish? I know I was pressing buttons. But that's. Hey guys. We're going to start playing. Uh, let's figure out what's going on. Um, uh, it's still 3D-ish. Okay. Um, uh, well, I know it's, it's, it's probably that, but I don't know. Cause I had a problem earlier where I tried turning this off and it did not want to turn off. No, like my whole, it, it freezes my game when this happens and it froze my game again. But it, it's it's putting everything in 3D. Okay, I may have to. I may. Alrighty then, guys. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty then. Okay, so, um, what could have been like a good 30 minutes of me fiddling around with things, I did pause it. That's why I went like from like me talking to bloop right to here. Um, so basically, let's go t go ahead and talk about what's going on. So if we come into settings. We hit this, we hit that. Um, we can turn it on, it instantly turns on, but the second that you turn it off, it's like, I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and crash your game for you because you wanna turn that off. And I actually had to go into like the, the options file itself and how lingo goes with uh, programming and stuff like that, it's not on or off, it is true or false. So I had to make it go from true or on to false which is off and so i was able to do that because i i turned on and i turned off um ll craft like four times so we are good to go let's go ahead and just actually jump into this now and actually do something uh oh there goes the sound that's fine okay um so let's go ahead and just like i said just go ahead and get right into this uh, let's go ahead and hit that. Let's go ahead and hit here. And we still have our save right here. Mr. Madison's world. Um, these are going to be normal time frames. I don't know why I'm saying that because I try making every game at least during that f um, uh, 40 minutes to an hour or really 45 minutes to an hour. Minimum is the 45 minutes. So you guys have some content to watch uh, up to an hour. So it's not too much content to watch in one week and stuff like that. Uh, but if you guys are wanting to see more than just an hour, that's always leave it in the comments for that. And I can definitely work with that. Look at that now that's not so 3D-ish anymore. So we're starting off in this area again. Um, like I was talking about for you guys um, a few seconds ago for me was like 30 minutes ago with working with all this. If I do happen to die, I will not spawn back in there and that water over there. Everything is looking kind of normal right now. I don't see anything that is RL craft worthy. Um, let's go ahead and actually do some stuff so I can show you what we're working with. Okay, so I have multiple buttons that I have down here on my keyboard. I'm just going to press buttons to see what happens. Uh, I That is texting. I don't want to text. Why? Okay, let's start here. So, um, in your traditional Minecraft games... Um, you will start getting experience as you're killing skeletons, zombies, um, killing things. You can also get it for smelting things and 
Uh, one big one is that if you go into the nether and uh, mine quartz, that gets you a lot of experience points and stuff like that. But you can take that experience points and put it towards farming, agility, uh, defense, building, attack, gathering, magic, and mining. One of the big things is that um, we might just randomly come across some diamond armor. Here's the problem is that let's go ahead and press Y again. I cannot use that, that diamond armor without having a certain defense. I ha I am a novice, so I can't even use, like, I don't even think I can use leather right now. I'm that under experience. So I can have, all day long, I can have a diamond sword or a diamond pickaxe or, or netherite or whatever. I can have all those things, but if I'm not leveled enough to be able to use it, I can't have it. So that's the same thing with farming. I can't, I can't plant things without having a, a high one. I don't remember what agility does, but it probably does something gathering. I can't gather stuff. Uh, swords, uh, certain levels, like I can't use stone swords automatically. I can't use diamond, uh, steel, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, ma magic, I don't remember. Uh, magic, uh, there is magical properties in this game as well. Like, I can summon things and things like that. Mining, same thing. Like, I can't just get a, um, a pickaxe that is a diamond and just start going uh, to town on it. I need to be able to get all that stuff with it. Um, one other thing is we're going to go ahead and press. Uh, I started with uh, going from Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, L. I want to just go, go ahead and skip over U and go to I. No quiver found. That's not what I wanted. I want E. E. Okay, I didn't press E. So, look at all this. So, I don't think this is all of the different items that you can get throughout this, but there is 100, uh, or there is 70 tabs. These are all the items that are found in this game. And it just keeps going. Yeah, technically. But, like, here. Here's just a little slower. Now, some of these, like like this, like these are just potion effects and stuff like that, but it's still put into here because it's part of the game, but all different types of fishes, different types of armor that you can have, um, all different types of things that can go into this game as well. Um, one thing I wish that was in Minecraft, which this is, this is the thing, is that once, if you ever do get RL Craft, once you start playing RL Craft, you cannot, and I mean you cannot go back to normal Minecraft. It is that good. Now there is a thing called Better Minecraft, which does have a little bit more into it that's less. So, so here, what was that? Please don't. I am trying to explain something. I feel like an eagle is about to come down and get me. I don't know. <laughs> I know for real. So like, okay, here's levels. So here is Minecraft. Here's Better Minecraft. Here's RL Craft. Uh, for people who just like, okay, I'm good with Minecraft, I want something a little bit more, but not too punishing, better Minecraft is where to go. But like, I love RL Craft, so I'm into like the area of like, this is going to be very, very, very difficult. Like, you could do some things between these two games, from the better Minecraft and RL Craft, you could do certain amount of things, but RL, RL Craft has more, and but it's a little bit more punishing as well. Um, as you're also seeing, there's other things like flame, flame dragon bone dagger. Uh, it's not just swords. You have nunchucks. You have uh, spears. You have all different types of things, a battle axe, so on and so forth. You have a whole bunch of things that you can get into this game. Weird mask, dog, cat, ears for some odd reason. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things that are going on in this game that you can have going throughout. But this is... It's 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 a lot. It's a lot of things that go on into this game. Okay, that's enough about that. You, what does you do? I don't know. You did nothing. O, O did nothing. P, uh, fancy whatever. Okay, that's another mod. Don't know exactly what that does. Those do nothing. F, I don't know. G, I don't know. Uh, H, um, okay. Let's talk about this. This is actually a good thing. So, this game right here, you do not hill. Uh, if I sit there and I'm hungry and I start eating chicken or pork or whatever thousand things I randomly find. Stop looking at me. That's right. Uh, all the different things that you can eat, it does not heal you. You have med kits, you have bandages, you have to use those things to be able to heal back up or use a bed. 
a bed does not completely so sleeping restores 50 percent of your maximum health so you have to sleep two times to be able to get fully up there but here's the thing is that if like let's for say for example if i lose my feet my movement speeds go super down if i lose my arms or my arms start getting hurt then my damage gets lowered like i have my damage resist or my yeah, my damage goes down. But here's the thing. My body or my head, you see how it has these ones. These hearts are different than these hearts right here because these are hardcore hearts. These do not heal unless I use bandages and stuff like that. So a bed does not heal those. I need bandages or a med kit or a first aid to be able to heal those. So if those are gone, those are gone. I can lose my arm. I can lose my leg. I can lose my left foot. I can lose all those things. I can heal those things back by sleeping. Don't ask how. It just happens. But my body and my head do not do not come back unless I use a med kit. Okay. Which one was that? G? G? No, no, no. That was H, right? Yeah, that's H. Okay. J? Did nothing. K? Nothing. Uh, L did something. I don't know what exactly did. Z? I don't. Z just lets me move this around. Yo, guys, the amount of noise is happening is just... Stop. Okay. X did nothing. C did nothing. V did... V is... The same as E. Cool. B? B. Cool. Let's talk about B. B is very important. I gotta remember that. B is very important. B is very important. Say it with me. B is very important. I don't think any of you guys said it, but hey. It's worth a try. Whoever did... Kudos points, brownie points. B. B is all about... You done? I'm trying to explain and you, you, you crowing does not help. Okay. B is very important because it talks about creatures that you will meet, talks about pets that you can have, summonings that you can come up or you can have elements there's a bunch of elements so water void shadow quake poison phase order nether lightning light lava fa uh, frost fire fey uh, earth chaos um i still can't say that one arbor air nether i thought i already said nether ne ne there, there's two nethers there's two nethers okay and that's it um Arcane? Arcane. There it is. Arcane. Oh, I don't know why that was difficult. But the biggest thing with this thing is, is that there is going to be a bunch of creatures. Right now, I've not seen any of the new creatures. Like, yes, we're seeing pigs over there, and we've seen some squids. Nothing else looks a little bit weird around this area. But this game, you can summon creatures. You can have pets. I can fly in this game. I can have flying birds. I ha can have... Uh, mounts like more than just horses and stuff like that or llamas and whatnot there's all different types of things but b is where to go for me to be able to see all of that information n m both of those did nothing i think these do something too maybe i'm looking okay hold on hold on i was doing something okay so for some odd reason t and this way both do the same thing those two did nothing and those did nothing. One, two, three. I think the yeah, these are just for hot bar, um, hot key bars. And Q did not do nothing as well. Okay, so um, we have the basis of what we're trying to do here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more into this. Um, it does it does have a little shack over here. Um, I did do a little bit more practice to pick up on a few things, so I'm not slacking when trying to show you guys a little bit on how to play this game. Um, I do want to explain one thing before we start. Let's go ahead and look in here. We have, so, so this is actually good. Let me go ahead and come into here, get that, and jump back into here. Okay, so for example, here is an iron hoe. I can't do nothing with this. It is iron. I can't do nothing. I do not meet the requirements to be able to use the iron hoe. So this thing is useless to me. Um, I can make iron things. Like right now I have three of these. If I get some sticks, I could be able to make a pickaxe. But it doesn't do nothing because I have to be in mining eight to be able to use it. Foraging. I can't use any of these things. So it's kind of useless. But it's good that we have some bread. 
um, so on and so forth. Now, here's the thing. If you see between my health bar, you should also see some water drops. You've never seen water drops before, too. It is part of RL Crafted, pretty much a few other mods as well. Um, one of the big things is that there is thirst into this game. Um, and then also, you have that little meter in between of all that. So you see how it's like, it's like a little bit of freeze drops on it. Now it's just normal, and now it's back to the freeze drops. The freeze drops are basically saying that I'm getting cold. The, the blue outline means I'm cold. Freezing is what I meant in the water because it is starting to get uh, dark out. So when it gets dark, we all know that it starts getting cooled off. So it's getting really, really cold. So I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to come right here. And the biggest thing is, is that when night comes, it's kind of difficult. Also, here is a thing is that there is only certain creatures come out during certain times. One of the big ones that I do know is that, oh yeah, by the way, I don't remember if it's in a normal mode, but uh, Steve's face is the moon in this one. I don't know if that was normal or not. I totally forgot. But on full moon, certain uh, like bat creatures, because it is a full moon, pops up. But we're going to just move around, uh, see what we have. This actually does look like a good place to start off with. Um, but I am going to just lo look around, see what we can definitely do, see what we can get, and stuff like that. But when it starts getting dark out, we already know that mobs start coming out. You have the Zombos, you have the Skeliosis, uh, so on and so forth. They do spawn. We got Pigos, uh, we got those. Um, okay, here is one of the first new new ones. Uh, Maka is what I believe this one is called. Yeah, Maka, yeah, it is called. Makas, they're okay. So I discovered the Maka, and I have notes about Maka. Makas are okay. They actually do give me some good food and stuff like that. They do not hurt me. I can take them out. They are, are a passive mob. So I don't have to worry about them at all. But let's go ahead and just keep on going. I am going to say I will uh, die quite a few times. And there is that one, one creature I was talking about that does come out during full night. And there's another one right there, and there's one right there. And that's not good, because those things will take me out. Is that three? Oh, and then we have that. Uh, I think that thing does try hurting me, so I'm not going to go near it. Uh, so I am only a certain directions that I can go right now. There is a chicken right there. Good chickens. Uh, there is another bat right there. Okay. Um, let's go this way. We got spiders that way. Um, that is a ch that, that that is a chicken chicken rock. Are we in, like, the chicken world right now? Like, okay, I can't go that way. I can't go that way. I guess I'm going to go spider way. When I do that, he is coming for me now. Oh, that's a zombo. That's a zombo. But right now, the zombos and spiders are the least of my worries right now. Because that bat is after me. Oh, bat's throwing stuff at me. And blindness. I can't see. Lovely. It's starting to get cold as well. I'm just going to keep running. Oh, and he is still behind me. Um, water is not a place where I want to be, but I am jumping in the water for right now. I cannot see nothing. And he hit me again, and he hit me again, and he hit me again. He's still hitting me. Why is he hitting me? Is he on me? I thought he's, he can't be in the water. What is going on? And he's probably going to take me out. Okay, okay, there we go. Took me out. Okay, so... It doesn't restart the day or anything. It will still start me. There is no way. You are making this too easy for... Okay, never mind. You got that creature. That's not a good creature. Okay. Hi, buddy. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to just walk this way and see if I can find a bed. That would be nice. Beds are nice. Beds are helpful. Beds are great. Um, okay. Um... Yeah, just trying to get into a bed it would be grand.com. Okay, we're in a building. We're doing good so far. We're in a building. Okay, I don't know what that noise is. I think that is a guardian, which is good to have in a village. Uh, guardians are like the uh, Agus. Agus. Those, the, yeah, 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 that, that thing. These things are the iron golems of this world. And they, they, they attack. They're really good. They're flying creatures. So they will attack uh, things that are trying to harm the villagers. 
Um, let's see, nothing this way. I need a bed, or at least nighttime to go away. Um... I don't like the noises I'm hearing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just Yeah, we're just we're just gonna go ahead and So nothing can get in. We're gonna just do that. Um Um Villagers act the same way as normal. It's nothing Did you just change your class? No. You are you're just we're using something else. I am. Oh, there is. There is two. That's why there is two villagers. I I can't get the other one. Oh, oh. An axe uh, forgets the tree. Oh, the axe forgets the tree remembers. That's lovely. Um. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second. Um, let's <laughs> stop it. Um. Finding, okay, so I will say finding a village is, like, really good to have. Um, you know, finding a village in normal Minecraft is great to have as well, but also in the same right. This, oh my lord, it is so good to have. But here's the problem is, is that I don't know... I don't want to leave this place because I don't want to find what's out here if there is something out here. But we're, like whatever that is. Oh, it's it's that it's those things down there that's making that noise. Yeah, the joust. Joust are blind, so they can't see, but they can. Un they can feel like vibrations and stuff. Unless they're like super big vibrations. What are you? I forgot what you are. A nymph is near me. That's okay. I just don't know what you are. Um, okay. So those are nymphs. They're good. They actually heal you if you are actually hurt. So if you don't have a med kit, those things are good to have. I don't like how this one's sideways. That is locked. Okay. That has potatoes in it. Okay. Um, that has gold and whatnot in it. That's fine. I don't need any of that. Uh, a bed would be great. Cre yeah, there's the creeper. We know creepers and spiders. Spiders look a little bit different, as you can see. Um, okay, so what was that? There's a creeper, and I don't want the creeper to come near me. As you guys can see in the background as I'm fighting this creeper, uh, it is starting to become daytime. Ow, I should have just let it keep on going. Because I didn't get no XP for that. Now, what are you? Okay, I feel like you are not good. You are looking at me. Okay, 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 okay. So, my, my thing is... Is getting a little bit hot, so we are gonna. Okay. I don't know what happened to the lobster. Ow. The, the nymph is healing him. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that was not fair. You came out of no a little bit loud, but okay. You came out of nowhere and got me. Okay, so where did it put us this time? Okay, we're in the middle of a forest. Yay. Okay. Yes. I heard a frog. I don't think there's any frogs. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more. We got taken out by two creatures that are... I know. Oh, here we go. Um, so we got taken out by two creatures that are not originally from Minecraft. That's just good. That is great. Um, uh, there's still so much more to learn about this game. Um, we still got a good, uh, minimum of 15 minutes left. So I think we should go ahead and start talking about the beginnings of how to play this game. Um, as you guys can see, this is a random tree. I don't know what type of tree. There's an imprint right there. That's good. Um, I can't break this tree i can break it but it's gonna take a whole 60 seconds and nothing drops if i break it so right now i'm probably already got wood but right now as you guys can see nothing's happening i need to be able to make all the tools i need to be able to cut it down now here's the thing so the first thing to do and the first thing i need to get is going to be um flint so we all know how flint, how we get flint and stuff like that. So we need to find gravel. We're going to come up to these guys, these guys. So these guys are wisps. Wisps. Uh, makes you glowing, makes anyone glow. It also gives you night vision. So that's why everything looks uh, a whole lot brighter now. Uh, so I can be able to see a lot better now. Um, so let's go ahead and keep looking for um, flint or gravel. We need gravel. Right now, we are coasting on our... I don't know what that noise was, but I don't like it. Um, also, um, I may not... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, we have some gravel. Just like gravel in normal Minecraft, you may not have a chance of picking up flint as you're going through. So, it is annoying... One of the good things about it is that if flint does drop, the gravel does disappear. So uh, that is the quote-unquote way of maintaining order when it comes to getting flint. But as you guys are seeing, it doesn't matter because flint takes forever to get anyways. Um, also, another thing, as you're noticing that I'm going over all of these pieces of gravel. There's some there, some there, some there. Um, here's the thing about this game is, is that I cannot pick up anything unless i crouch i have to crouch and i pick up everything that's how i get everything so i'm going to keep keep going through things also that's another cool thing about this is that let's say in normal minecraft if i sit there i stop it goes back to that point but it stays where that's at so i can sit there and grab that i can sit there and grab that i can sit there and grab that and sit there and grab that ready it does go back out after a little while but I can I can stop on one and then go back to the other without having to restart the whole situation again. Okay, so out of 33 gravel, I got nothing. So I'm gonna just gonna sit there and I'm gonna go up in the air with this. But I'm not gonna go too far. And I'm gonna crouch this whole time. I got flint. Okay, so as many flint as I get coming down, I don't care. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's as far as I'm going to go. Next, I need to find, because I can't, the flint is not the only thing I had to do. I actually had to break the flint into flint shards. And there's a reason for it. But first, I can't break it over dirt. I can't break it over um, gravel. I need to grab, or I needed to find stone. And now I broke it into shards, flint shards. Now, with those flint shards, I can sit there and, um, sorry, just trying to remember. Okay, now I need to sit there and cut these until I find sticks. And I found a jungle pod. Cool. 
I can't plant a jungle pod because I'm not level eight and um, uh, eight into that. So we're gonna sit there and put the stick. We're gonna sit there and put that. And now we have a flint knife. So now we have a flint knife. I can sit there and make these fibers. And I only get those by looking at this grass. That's how I get these fibers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit there and make that. There we are. And so I was able to make two. Now I'm gonna sit there and put that there. I don't have another another branch, so I need to get a branch. Or there we are. I got I think I got two. Yes, I got two. Stop it. Um, so I hit this here, I have this here, and I have this here. Okay. Do I flip it? Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I need it. I need the string. String. Okay. And now I have a flinch hatchet. So now, with that, I can look at this tree. Let's go ahead and hit this one out of the way. So now, it takes about the same amount of time as a wooden sword for this flint one. But I can only do this a few times. So right now, that's going to fall. Like a normal tree, it fell over, and then it will give me all the stuff I need. So, um, a normal Minecraft, I can sit there and put this right here, and it gives me planks. Not like that. This is going to... I... I don't know what you are, but you have a lot of shield, and I don't want to mess with you, so I'm going to walk away. We're going to walk this way. Because I know over here was a little bit safe. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that there's those bees. There's bees all around. I don't like the bees because I don't know what the bees do. I don't know if they'll bee themselves around me. Okay, so we're going to come out right here. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, ah, I'm poisoned. Ah. That hurt. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. That That's not good, but it's okay because I was able to take it out. Oh, what are you? You were just there. You disappeared. What was that? Oh, nymph. 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 I need nymph. I'm on the verge of uh, dying right now, so I need a nymph. The nymph will hold me back to where I need to go. Nymph. No. Nymph. Fall. Fall, nymph. Come here. I need health. Don't make me climb up to you. You still there? Thank you. Stay right there. S stay right there. Thank you. Nail me. Got broken feet. What else do I got? Okay, green feet. Okay, we're good. I need everything else healed me up. There is something in that water. I'm going to crouch down as I'm picking these up. Just hope that I can get another flint shard. I don't need another flint shard. I did use up a lot of... Oh, okay. So he... He, he jumps up real fast and goes right back down. Okay. Um, this is actually a good structure to find as well, but the only issue at hand is, is coming out into this water can be helpful, cannot be helpful. Water is very dangerous. You know, having a normal Minecraft, hoping that like you can have sharks and stuff like that, piranhas and whatnot, that would be great to have a normal Minecraft. Oh, they take it to the extreme in this one. There's like creatures upon creatures. One of the big terror that comes from the water in this one is sea serpents. They are terrifying. Um, this one is a good one. There is stuff in here. Uh, this one can actually be a good starter location. Uh, I do have one level, but for me to be able to do anything, I think it was Y, yes, Y, uh, I actually had to have two to be able to use it. 
Okay, what do we got in here? Okay, so we got some good stuff in here, even a pickaxe and whatnot. Let's go ahead and close that. What do we have in here? Pl uh, plasters. Plasters are good as well. Plasters, it restores one total heart, requires um, uh, for two seconds per heart and stuff like that. So everything good on that. Um, and we have all this stuff as well. Let's see. Like I said, this will be actually a good place to start out at. Um, so we're good here. Um, the only problem is that there is no bed, but we'll still make this work if we can. Um, actually, if I'm not mistaking, let's go ahead and open up this and open up this. Okay, so I made another one, but can we, okay, hold on, give me a second. Let me, let me work. Let me work right quick. Um, string. Let's go with just string. Ow. P okay. So we're going to come here. This tool is also another very helpful thing when it comes to pretty much any mods of Minecraft compared to normal Minecraft. Uh, but one of the big things is I can sit there and hit that and it could tell me how to make it. And then also with it, it could tell me what it can be made into as well. So I can't do nothing with this, but here's the thing. Like, let's say that I want, I want wool. So I want green wool. Let's see if there's any way of making it. So just like normal string, plant strings can make normal wool as well. So that is very, very good. It is cold. We're going to come inside right quick. Um... It is actually really, really cold. I totally forgot which direction. Here, let me get a little bit closer because it is cold. So I'm going to get next to the fire. Actually, I'm going to get next to the lava. It's about to turn me from super cold because right now I have a red ring in front of it. And now I'm in normal and it's probably about to make me hot. That's fine. I'd rather be hot than anything else because right now it's cold outside and it's raining. I was literally checking all my stats out in rain. So we're going to go ahead and stop right there. Um, let's go ahead and go back up top. That's another thing I like about this one is that you, when you're walking, it sounds like you're actually in boots instead of just normal stuff. Okay, so it shows that – sorry, I'm looking all around as well, and I'm seeing there's a manta ray. I now don't think I'm going to be able to make it back across unless I start destroying some of this stuff to make my quote-unquote way over there. Um, so, um, showed you how to get all of the stuff that I need. Yeah, you can put it down there. Um, oh, 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 that's one thing I do not want to see right now. No. I, my, my pickaxe, or my flint, died. Okay, so we're back here again. Is that, that's a hippogriff. I don't want to deal with those. Um. Those things are not good. Those things shoot things at me. There's a zombo. Okay. This one is actually not a good starting place. So I don't own oh, that one's that one's not a good one because that a rare trolling spider, the equipment hunter. Let's go play with this thing because this thing's going to kill me. Okay. Ow. Alrighty then. That's cool. That's great. That's wonderful. Okay. What? Ow. Bye. And I'm done. Yay. So, as you guys are seeing in this uh, this episode, there... God, all those things. No, no, no. I'm glad he's fighting that thing. That thing will take me out quick. Oh, hello, Zombo. 
You have full armor on. I don't want to mess with you. There's those. There's the Makas. Those are sheep. What just hit me? Spider. No. Leave me alone, spider. I was hoping that I can be able to survive in that one place. What is that? Oh, no, 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 no. He's faster than me. He's faster than me. Velociraptor. That's Interman. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, ow. Ow, ow, ow. He, he took... Oh, okay, he took me out. That's cool. Well... Alrighty then. No, this is... No, no, you didn't even give me a chance. You didn't even give me a chance. No. Uh, these are sirens. Siren, leave me alone. Oh, but you can go in the water. You And that's instant. You didn't even give me a chance on that one. Ugh. Oh, this. I heard a cat. Oh, no, those are yetis. They're y yallies. Surprised I haven't seen a dragon yet. I was surprised. I am super surprised. And there's another another one. And I don't know what you do. Um, these these guys that are like that, they are special ones. Uh, that is a weather... Oh, that's a... Okay, that was a creeper. A creeper almost got me. Oh, guys. A lot of stuff's happening. Especially at the end of this episode. Okay. Um, I don't want to go this way, but... Ow, ow. Um, water. Water's not good, but... Man, I was actually going to sit there and stay in that house, but the, the, the sirens got me. Everything's cold. Okay, hold on, hold on. We found this. It's not the same one, but we found another. But I'm seeing that this might be the more corrupted one. No, it's not. It's actually a good one. And we might stop our episode here. We'll just... No. No. Ow. Why well, can't... I can't hit him. Okay, well, now we're back here again. Out in the open, trying to figure out what we can do. I am on top of a mountain now. Um, this is what... Ella... I don't like this one. I'm just gonna... It didn't kill me. Creeper! Do justice! Thank you. Next. For Gotham. Okay, I can't see. Thank you. Um, where are we at now? Like we're in basically the same place. Uh, one big thing that you guys are noticing. Oh, that is a battle tower. Is that a battle tower next to a battle tower? There's no way. Well, actually there is can be a way. Those things are called battle towers. At the top is a golem that does a lot of damage. And that is... Ah, man, I love these skellies. These skellies are the best skellies. These, these guys are funny. Oh, oh, but they can still hurt you. They're, they're trombone, uh, uh, trumpet skellies, and they can actually use their trumpet, and it can push you away. It's hilarious. I just heard you. I don't care. If I'm taking these guys out, I'm still getting some levels. The game definitely gets a lot easier the more levels you have and stuff like that. Definitely for sure. But sometimes it can be difficult starting out, as you guys are seeing. I'm quickly going to press this. No. Uh, y. And I'm going to put that into attack. And there we go. You. I think everything will give me XP. I feel bad for this. You actually did not give me none. Now I feel bad. Great. Thanks.
Okay, so now it's daytime. What do we have in here? Okay, ho hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna lie, right next to this, I don't know if there's any sheep nearby, but there is enough of this around. Let's go ahead and see what we can muster up with this area. I don't have, I can't break axes or anything like that. I need flint or gravel. Gravel is what I need first. Sheep. I'm actually going to take out these sheep. Okay, and I got food for that too. And we all know what we're getting the the Oh, why why are you not burning? Oh. Ah. Ah. I need healings. Thank you. Okay, that should be good enough right now. Okay. So we got... Yeah, we got that. Okay. Um, let's just go with this. Uh, let me let me let me cook guys. Let me cook. I got this. Okay. So now I have a way into this place until it's more secured. Okay, I need flint now. We are kind of getting close to the end of this episode. Ah, oh, you. Don't want to go near you. But I need flint. So I need... I need... 
gravel. I may have... Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna actually going to head back home. I like the idea that I just did. Why is it hot? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there. Bada beam, bada boom. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this week's episode right here. Um, I don't have much of anything right now. Uh, I do have four levels up, so let's go ahead and take care of that right quick. Um, let's go ahead and drop that into defense. Come back out. Actually, um, that only just took one, so that's good. Um, let's put it into mining. And then let's go ahead and put that into magic. There's a reason for magic later on as well. That's what we're going to go ahead and end it on. We're going to go ahead and end it right there uh, for this week's episode. Uh, nothing in this game has the same abilities like um, the main character, me, myself. Uh, so the one where I put the, the dirt block, they can't jump up and get to me as well. Like there's no Hero Brian or anything like that in this game. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. But next week's episode, we will go ahead and get started on seeing if we can survive here. Um I got the wool. I just need to get tree or uh, the planks to be able to do what I need to do with that. So still so many more things that we got to do, but that's going to be maybe determined on our next week's episode. We may die on our next week's episode and all this that we've done here so far, which is barely nothing is for nothing. But I'm hearing someone step up right now. Let's go ahead and see what that is right quick. Oh, hey, Nymph, how you doing? Healing. Yes, I'll take more hills. Hills are great. Hills are wonderful. I'll definitely take the hills. I just see yetis. It is hot in this area. I feel like that we're close to a uh, a dungeon or a desert or something. Like we may be in savannas or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll, that's what we're gonna end it off right here. Uh, so with that being said, thank you for everyone stopping on by and watching this week's episode. This was Mr. Madison with Mr. Madison Blaze, and you guys all have a wonderful day. Laters.